In this tutorial, I'd like to discuss Uvium basics. Uh, when the user first launches into Uvium, they're presented with a two-dimensional workspace called the Ether, onto which they can place bubbles. Uh, in the upper right-hand corner here, we have a toolbar, which indicates the currently selected bubble tool. Uh, at the moment, there are four tools available in Uvium. The first is an instant bubble tool, which allows users to place numbers and calculations onto the ether. The second is a mechbub tool, which allows users to define their own functions. The third is the gridbub tool, which allows a user to place a spreadsheet-esque um, grid of numbers and calculations onto the ether. And the third is a textbub tool, which allows users to place um, labels or entire mind maps onto their UVM Ether. Uh, in the bottom left corner, we have the menu bottom button allows you to um, select different menu options. And in the upper right hand corner, I have the, uh, the Ether widget allows you to quickly switch between your various saved Ethers. Um, and create new ethers. You can also click this ellipsis. It brings up a property box for your currently current ether. I can come in here and I can I can change the name. Call it basic demo. Uh, I can put it in a note. Uh, and I also can include other library ethers here. Uh, but that's a more advanced topic, and I'll go into that later. Uh, okay, so. Let's start out with a basic calculation. Now, in order to create a bubble, um, I simply double tap on the ether, and whatever the currently selected tool is, the bubble is, will, will be created. So I double tap and I create an instance tool. And in this case, it pops up a standard calculator keyboard. So I'm going to do a simple calculation. I'm going to do um, 893 divided by 19. And then to evaluate this, um, I will just hit equals. Now if I tap on the bubble again, uh, I can see what my calculation was. And instead of using equals, I can also just retap on the bubble to evaluate it. Now another way we can do this in Uvium is to place these numbers each in their own bubbles. So let's, let's redo this calculation. So double tap to create a new bubble and I'll put 893. I'll Double tap elsewhere to create a different bubble, 19. Uh, and now I'm going to do my division. So I create a third bubble, and I, I tap the first bubble, I hit divided by, tap the second bubble, and in this case I'm just going to tap it to evaluate it. And I get my answer again, 47. If I modify one of the input bubbles, it will automatically change all of the bubbles that depend on that. And that concludes my demo of Uvium Basics.